Wait a minute. I am short girl. Mm. So you have to punch me. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, now that we just start. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Kitty, say, I am God. I am God. Please ask me any questions you may have. I will answer them. How much do you like me? A whole lot. <laughs> that's gay. <laughs> hey there, everybody. We're Dango Duo. We watch anime bullshit. We watch anime bullshit and then talk some more bullshit about it. Welcome back! Anime Reactions Winter Anime 2018. The season goes on. It continues. Last time we watched the first episode of Citrus and that was gay. Problematic, but also gay. Fair. This is also similar. This is all... Yeah, this is also similar, you could say, in, in, the, in the fact that it is anime. Oh, no, and it's also gay. It is all... It is actually pretty gay. Not very problematic, though. Are you telling me that Pop Team Epic is the queer icons we were waiting for all along? Yes. Not you know, afraid to flip people off. Not af not afraid. Hey there, everybody. We're Dango Duo. We don't have a content unless we stuff every single day. Today we're reacting to episode one of Pop Team Epic. Pop Team Epic. Pop Team Epic. Titled, You're the Only One I'm Telling. Oh, yeah. I forgot the, t the titles are bullshit, but it's fine. At least this one. We'll see about next one. Uh, so, in case you are unfamiliar with our stuffs, uh, we do these kind of anime reactions twice a week, uh, and the format goes a little bit like this. We tell you um, a spoilerless um, summary of what happened this episode. Uh, it reminds me, I gotta pull up the info <laughs> on the manga. Uh, always, we, we always, always happens. Forget that. Always it's forget fine. that. Uh, we tell you what we liked. Well, we didn't like all very brief and very spoilerless. Mm -hmm. um, we g give you a recommendation. Are we gonna keep on watching? And then we think you should give it a try. And then we go over to the spoiler zone. If you want to pause and actually go go into Crunchyroll, mm -hmm. link in the description down below. And which is episode you can. Okay. And, and then tag oh, along. <laughs> and then uh, tag along for us uh, to have our discussion during the spoiler zone, where we just talk about what's in our minds regarding this particular anime. Yeah. Uncensored, unfiltered. Just like unplugged. Pop Team Epic. Just like Pop Team Epic. So, Kitty, what, what, are you ready to go? I'm ready, let, I'm ready, I gotta pull this go. shit up. Let's go, let's, let's go. Let's go. Kitty, what's the Pop Team, Pop Team Epic all about? Pop Team Epic is a four coma, basically four panel comedy manga that uh, began in 2014 on a website. And uh, it's about, uh, as Wikipedia calls it, two profane 14 year old girls named Papuko and Pee Pee Me. Short girl, tall girl. Short girl, tall girl. And they're strange situations and jokes uh, it's really more of like a bam bam joke joke yeah. joke 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 uh, four comments are known for just being joke 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 because jokes. there's only um, four panels to make your joke so yeah and it's, especially for joke. comics uh, for uh, for uh, anime that are based on stuff like that mm -hmm. like um what's the one that um as a manga dial? Asuma, yes, manga dial is a famous one. Uh, yeah. it's, just, it's, it's just And bits. Lucky Star as and, well. and, and Lucky Star too, which I, I really enjoyed. And the plus it's just, it, next anime. Yeah, it's I'm just like it. like uh, like bits after a bit after bit after bit very fast. Um, yeah. This particular this particular episode is a little bit of a of a mind bender. It's a bit of a troll. It's a it's a you know what? I think you put it the best. It's definitely a bit of a troll and it has a lot of charm to it and that's all we can tell you honestly without spoiling. Because it doesn't really have a summary of what happened because yeah, it's it's because bits. It's, it's it's bits. It's bits and it's kind of random in its own nature, but that's kind of part the nature that's of the, the beast. Point. Yeah. Uh so with that in mind, mm -hmm. comedy, randomness, a little trolly, some Kitty. references. Oh, definitely references. Kitty, what did you enjoy the most about this episode? The animation is beautiful. It actually really is. It's like way better than it needs to be. It could just be cheap, but it's like beautiful. Especially in the opening bit where they're completely trolling you. It's like gorgeous animation. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely agree with you. Uh, there is, uh, you'll see screenshots on the screen right now, mm -hmm. but like the lines are very sharp and mm -hmm. the contrast, it, it's very clean. And it's hard I, to show in our video format, but it's very fluidly animated as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like everything flows so nicely. Uh, and it has that uh, nature that, um, uh, and take this with a grain of, of salt, but like in the best moments of uh, Attack on Titan, where you can just pause and make a, a wallpaper out of, out of out of whatever the screenshot is, yep. uh, Pop Team Epic has very like sharp, very clear lines, and yeah, yeah, here's a wallpaper for you right here. It's beautiful. Yeah, uh, it's it it is honestly, and it has no right to be this pretty. It doesn't have to be really. Uh, there's a lot of money in this anime, and yeah. it's you can you can feel it, you can taste it. Uh, there are parts of it that are a little budget. 
But we'll talk about well, that. That I think is intentional. I think it is, but but you know we can't get away from it from it being a little budget. But I mean it's part of the it's part of the experience. It's, it's part of the experience, so I can't be mad, too mad at it. Mm -hmm. The thing that I enjoy the most is that it's weird as f f hell. Yep. It's really weird. It's full of references. Very strange. Uh, and it's got that thing where, like, if you're aware of pop culture and things, you'll get more out of it. Because mm -hmm. you're going to be like, oh, that's that thing. Uh, and the thing that, uh, talking about the kind of the trolley nature of the show, mm -hmm. there is, it may seem like a bad thing at first, but um, upon thinking about it, it mm -hmm. really lets you take in the details in the background. Yeah. Uh, there's one particular scene that I liked a lot that it's a reference to like a game and I'm like you're actually d referencing this game right here that's random that's balls that is balls but of course it cannot all be perfect Kitty what did you dislike the most about Pop Team Epic episode 1 this is actually both of ours but um, yeah so I I don't know if it was 100% worth it but um they after 15 minutes and the ending scene goes, you're, you're the, the ED goes, and you're like, wait a minute, there's still 15 more minutes. It plays it again, but with different voice actors as the main girls. Uh, by the way, this is not the trolley bit of the show. No. This is just kind of part of That's the format. That's just part of it for some reason. So it plays the whole episode again. With different voice actors. With different, no, only for the girls. The rest oh, of them oh, are the yeah, same. Yeah, only for the girls, yeah. But I don't know if it's 100% worth it. Because the jokes were good, fast, like, the first time. And then yeah. you're seeing them again, and it's kind of like, I don't I don't know. Yeah, we were watching, expecting there to be more things that were different. But there were things but, in, in the voice acting that was different, because they do different um, takes on the script. And then they actually subtitled it, uh, one part that they didn't yeah. in the first part. Yeah, which I really felt... was very strange. Yeah. It really felt like, oh, come on, you got to watch the second part to know what they were talking about. To know what the about. fuck they were saying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I actually prefer the voice acting in the second part. Yeah. Uh, the, I love the, uh, the, the uh, tall girls voice actors. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, there's some charm in the idea of, like, it's old men voicing little girls, but I'd rather <laughs> be at least one lady yeah. in there. Uh, but, yeah, no, I actually I, I agree with Kitty. It was interesting. I don't think if it's worth it watching the episode twice. Immediately. Twice for all Because, like, yeah, I, would, I could see going back to it, obviously. Like, being like, oh, yeah, this was so funny. I'm going to watch it again, like, later, a couple days later. But, yeah. like, immediately afterwards, kind of take some of the quick punch away from the jokes. Someone was saying that every episode's going to have a different voice actors. So, like, uh. that would be interesting if, like... I did know. see, when I was looking at the, at the Wikipedia page, four different voice actors listed. Yeah. So, so uh, that's that's cool. Yeah. Now, you knew you have heard what we liked and what we didn't like. Kitty, do you recommend it and should the viewer give it a try? I think we have that. Oh no! It's it's uh, uh are we gonna keep watching? Oh yeah, we recommend yeah, it? yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I had to think I, about I, it. I, I said it right. I said it right. That's fine. Oh uh, yeah, we'll probably keep watching. We'll probably keep watching. It's uh, funny. It, it uh, and now that we know that it's kind of just like a fifteen-minute episode that gets doubled. Yeah. We can probably just take it a little a bit more casually. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, it, 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 it's weird and it's fun. Uh, and it's funny. Mm. Yeah, it's super funny. And do we recommend it? Um. I do. It's it's hilarious, especially if you know like kind of modern anime that they're referencing, or even yeah. not modern shit. That I mean, they're there's referencing. some really old shit in there. There's some old ass shit yeah. in there, but it's it's a lot of fun and it's very funny. Yeah, and uh, I recommend it as well. Just keep in mind that like yeah, you it's it's it really is a short when you think about yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and it is pretty weird, so it may not be something you want to just it show to your normal friends. For every, it's something for everyone. So. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But if it's very Japanese, so if you're down for it, I would say definitely give it a shot because it's it can be very funny. Wow, we're on record time here. I know we're doing good. Hey, there we are. Uh, now this is the part of the show where if you actually want to go watch it, it's ten minutes. You can just go spare them right 15 -ish. now. Fifteen-ish. Uh, Fifteen-ish. Uh, link in the description down below. It's available to watch free on Crunchyroll. Mm -hmm. No, we're not sponsored by Crunchyroll, but we could be. Crunchy Hemet, hit us up. Yeah. H M U. Mm -hmm. Oh, hit me up. Oh, H H U U. Mm. Who? Who? Who are you? Is that a song? Yeah, it's like CSI. Does it, does it play at, at work? No. Okay. At Kaiba Corp? <laughs> no. Hey there, everybody. Uh, so I'm going to assume Smash that... does play at work, though. Oh, no. oh some, somebody, somebody once told me... Somebody once told me wow. the world is going to blow me. me. I, I made the sharpest tool in the shed. Wow. 
so now that everyone has stopped watching, <laughs> uh, or if you watch the episode, keep tag along because the spoilers begin to the count of three. Two, one. Spoiler. She was looking kinda dumb with, with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L, L on her forehead. forehead. Well, year stop coming and they're done. What? Yep, yep, yeah, yep. I, I stumble me. so bad. Is the years stop coming and they don't stop coming? Head to, to the, the room. ground. Now I get. Oh well, fuck. Hit the ground no. running. Yep. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. fun. Your might get smart, smart, but your head, head gets, gets dumb. dumb. So much to do, so much to see, but what's wrong with taking the, the back, back street? street? You never know if you don't know. Uh, 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 you never shot if you don't glow. Brown. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get your game on. Go play. Hey now. Hey there, everybody. We're sorry for the terrible rendition. Can YouTube claim our videos if we're not monetized anymore? Hmm. That's a funny in a bit to think about that for a while. So welcome back to the spoiler zone where we just talk random bullshit and also share our points about Puppet Team Epic mm -hmm. episode one. There's not a whole lot because it's all bits, but yeah. Uh, the first note is the opening troll, Kenny. It's There's so good. Five minutes of a random other anime. Mm -hmm. That they animated just to fuck with people. I love that it's supposed to be super tropey and tired, and then you're like, no, I would watch that, though. It's about three idols. Of course I'd fucking no, watch it. No, it's about it. a guy and three other idols. I mean, that's fair. I'd still watch it. Oh, my God. It, and then it, at the end, they're like, have the preview for the next episode, yeah, yeah, as if you had just stuff. watched the, the first episode. That's good stuff. Oh, uh, okay, listen. I know. And it's animated beautifully. Yeah. Like, holy shit. Yeah, they put money into that fake ass opening. I wonder if they'll, if they'll keep that up or they'll just do a different anime next episode. That'd be kind of cute. It's like suddenly a mecha anime, and they're like, yeah. what's going to happen to this, this battle? Uh, next, next time on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, they probably will reference Dragon Ball Z. <coughs> oh, God. That voice just kills my throat. Mm. Yeah, I know it was a troll. It was fun. Uh, I like it. People were complaining about it on Twitter because... Because they were like, I, I clicked on Pop Team Epic and they yeah. got this random shit. Yeah, I keep refreshing. I can't believe Cr Crunchyroll should really be on top of this. You idiots. Uh, so I, I liked it. It was cute. And the girls are cute. It's super yeah. tropey. But yeah, there's a giant dog too. Mm. Uh, so yeah, no, that was fun. And then and then Papa Cook comes out and he's like, nah, just kidding. Here's the real show. Yeah. So, uh... There isn't much to talk about since they were going to do a different segment today. Because there's some deep character analysis to things. Hmm. Then we're going to talk about our favorite parts. Kitty, what was your favorite bit? The uh, repeat, mara repeat Re marathon. Repeat marathon? Where, like, they just go through bits really quickly. Like, there's a shoujo scene to begin with, and then they go into space. I think they end at space. And then there's, like, the your name bit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And, oh, my God. It just keeps, like, little tiny bits... Oh, there's the Pokemon bit that yeah. you've seen, I'm sure. Yeah, the one with the weird, weird egg. Oh, yeah, the egg, which yeah. I'm sure is a reference to, It's like, a reference to something. The, like, I was almost thinking, like, Monster Hunter, but I don't think you, no, you hatch no. eggs in that. No, you, you, you can you can actually... The, uh, you eat eggs. No, well, well you, um, in the... Okay, uh, there's <laughs> egg, egg quests where you go out and actually take eggs from the nests right. of a monster and you bring it back. People hate those, but... They're bringing them back, and they're like, no, this time they're fun. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. They're stressful as fuck, because you can't run when you're holding an egg. Makes sense. Uh, but yeah, all, all the little tiny bits that are in there are, mm, like, yeah, pretty good. And yeah. then it, like, glitches out in between. And yeah. I like at the beginning of the episode, they're like, this this broadcast has some, like, you know, distortions in it. But don't worry, that's part of it. Yeah, yeah. And that, you're that. like, what the fuck? And then you get to it, and you're like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> it's not your TV or browser messing up, don't worry. My name is Papa. I'm the average uh, middle schooler you would find anywhere. I'm late for school. I like I like that the first one of those she's running with the toast, and yeah. then the second one she doesn't have the toast. Yeah. Uh, oh, and I, then there I, was the kimono frenza one. Yeah, yeah, which was weird, but that's which fine. Which was strange, but you know. Uh, sh <laughs> would we get in trouble? Oh, we can put it up on Twitter. Mm -hmm. We do a version of it where we just do the voiceover ourselves. I think that would be really cute. <laughs> that would be I think cute. that would be actually adorable. Cute. Uh, my favorite bit. Uh, I love. There was a Chrono Trigger reference in this episode. Yes, there is a, a significant yeah, chunk. There's a chunk that's just like like it, it recreates the scene of of uh, of short girl like Technical. running out of her house because she's late. Yeah. Um, and and she bumps into um tall girl. T uh, tall girl. Pipi me. Pipi me. Uh, I thought Pipi me. That's fine. Pipi no, me. Pipi me. Uh, and they bump into each other, and it's literally the 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 scene in the in the square from Chrono Trigger where you bump into Marl, and like it's like, oh, can you please give me back my my pendant? And, and the little like, text yeah, box. It's, it's like, up. oh, I, I actually get to choose. <laughs> and and, and Popco's first is like, yeah, sure, and sure. then goes like, 
Nah, nah. epic no. And then freaking PP me just does Luminaire, <laughs> which is Chrono's ultimate ability. <laughs> just just casual just, Luminaires. Yep. yep. And, kills, I, kills and I love Tropical. that they didn't clean it. They made it look as terrible as it looked in the in Super Nintendo. Yeah, and then uh, the like artifacting on the nine nine. Yeah, nine, yeah, nine. yeah. Which no, that was adorable. my favorite bit. Yeah, uh, that was uh, fun. runner up. Uh, fucking a Skyrim reference. That's so random. Oh for yeah, Japan. that was during the repeat marathon too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then some. Did you hear somebody modded that into Skyrim? Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. Have yeah, a helmet yeah. That's, that's. It's actually a Japanese mod, which was weird. Of course, of course. Uh, the other thing. Uh, I actually, I, f I don't know what's a reference to, but that last bit where, where Pippi Me is getting Popuko out of the fucking, like, oh, whatever yeah, the, like, chamber. Oh, yeah, like, sci-fi shit. Yeah, and then it just plays a theme that is similar to, like, the gar the thing that played in Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Oh, yeah. Doom, 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 it totally doom, is. Doom, doom. And, then, and then you see the villains, which are, like, the yeah, TV oh my producers. God. Oh, my which God. Which is so good. Well, and, then, and then, of course, that scene ends with, uh, he's like... There's no way this comedy four coma panel will, will, m manga will be popular as an anime. We did it, boys! And then you see him like spinning the fidget spinner on yeah. his finger. <laughs> no, listen, th th this this was wild and fun, but uh, but I think fun is a good way to describe pop team epic. Yeah, it, it's also like okay. I don't think it's it's wholesome fun. Oh. It's, it's it's vulgar as oh, fuck. Oh, certainly. They Especially when we get to the middle fingers, which is a, a, <laughs> which a, is a thing in them. Yeah. Well, uh, they censored one of them in the French bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, and also in the video game bits, uh, middle fingers uh, yeah. are a health bar. Uh, oh no, they actually are censoring all the yeah, middle fingers. Yeah. But, oh but, yeah. But it, during it, it, the repeat, yeah. they censored Totoro. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, it's because copyright. Yeah. I know. And of course, so yeah, they, they run over Totoro because it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I love yeah. that quote from fucking uh, Miyazaki, mm -hmm. like looking at a fire across um the like on that across the field where the fucking studio was, and he's like, "Man, wouldn't it be great if the studio also burned down?" Fair. <laughs> Miyazaki reminds me a lot of one of your friends. You know which one? <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, it's like you you know wouldn't it be great It'd if be this fine. also burned down? You know. <laughs> Uh, Shout out to them. Yeah, they're yeah, not watching. Yeah, they're not watching fine. this video. It's fine. See, just do a Photoshop of Miyazaki, but just with like pink hair, and there mm. you go. It's That's fair. your friend. Yep. <laughs> and we are both old because we suffer from medical conditions that, uh, <laughs> that shouldn't true. be afflicted to young people. It's true. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Medical conditions. Yay! Dying uh, in America because uh, it's just too expensive. We're just kids dying in America. Whoa! We're the kids dying in America. Whoa! Whoa. Hey there, Kate. Is there anything else you want to say? Yeah, Poppy Maverick is a lot of fun, and yeah. I'm excited to watch more. Yeah, honestly. Not sure about watching it twice over, but yeah, but. well. I love the part that we're talking French randomly. That was cute. That was. It was cute, and like Peepee Me is all dressed up and yeah. ready for French. Does kid know French? Mm, nah, no, but pink haired friend does. Oh, pink haired friend does. Yes. She's not watching. It's fine. Yeah. She knows French, though. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because she's also like animus trash. So when you think about it, when you think about it. Hey there, sure. everybody. We're Dango Duo. We do anime content and Let's Play stuffs every single day. Uh, we want to let you know we have Twitter accounts if you want to follow us for our silliness. Kitty loves Love Live, and she and, tweets about it all the time. And like girls and figures. And uh, that's virus. where I get my Love Live news from Twitter. From, from Twitty. Twitty. That's me. Kitty. Isn't Twitty, Twitty, Twitty the name of the bird from Twitty, Looney Tunes? Yeah. 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 Not Twitty. It has a different name in Spanish, but it's fine. I'm you sure. can also follow the Dango Duo official account for when videos go up and updates and Patreon mm. stuffs. Yep. Uh, and if yeah. we miss a video for yeah. any reason or whatever. Yeah, we'll post about it. Uh, yeah. Or if we get a package or something, we'll just tweet images or pictures of, cat, of our cat Yanto. Uh, yep. And me for writing advice and inspiration and just whatever the hell I'm doing. I'm reading manga Memes. right now. Yeah. 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 Do I mean? Uh, I guess I kind of meme a little. Hey, did you mean Google Glass? No. Uh, I feel good about that bit. Anyhow, <laughs> additional to that, we have an Amazon wish list. Woo! If you ever feel generous to just get us a little something, something, uh, mm -hmm. consider looking at the link in the description down below, and we'll do a video on whatever you send us, whether yep. it is uh, an anime, a game, or an unboxing of some Pokemon cards, or something, well, or something. I mean, check it out. I, mean, I don't know what's in there. I anymore. don't remember. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> you just put things in there, huh? Yeah, I'm not yeah. on Amazon very much. Yeah, because because I cause, save cause, with my yeah, 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 because it's a shopping website, and then you're just like, oh, whoops, whoops, there uh, goes all my months. Oh Max, oh man, I, I bought all the other Breath of the Wild amiibos, Max said, listen, throwing kid, kid under this bus. Listen, I only have, listen, we have almost all of them now. <laughs> That's no excuse to just. Okay, you did get the Barbosa one again, so we can half from box. Urbosa. So. Barbosa. Urbosa. Urbosa. Barbosa is a pirate. Oh yeah. 
Orbosa, that's that is act Orbosa. Oh, that Orbosa. is actually her name. Yeah, it's not Orbosa. I'm wrong. That's the pirate from Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, you're not wrong. Hey there. Everybody. That'd be a cool amiibo. No. Didn't they, didn't they make actually I think that, that, they made I, him as a Disney Infinity no, figure. I, I think they made the the guys from the later movie. Oh. I'm pretty sure that the, the other guy, whoever was the guy. I don't know. I still I, uh, uh, the third one was bad. Hey, yeah, no, it was. Hey, uh, hot takes over here at Dango Duo. The third part of the Caribbean was bad. Yeah, I haven't seen the fourth or the f- fifth. fifth? Wow. Whoo! Hey there, everybody. Additional to that, if you love our content, I want to make sure we can continue doing this regardless of YouTube's death v- b- 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 policies. Policies. Consider pledging to our Patreon. Yeah. patreoncom slash Duo is the place where you can give us a little bit of money mm-hmm. and get cool perks like watching the videos early. Shout out. Yeah, but b- b- participating uh, in lotteries, getting to watch our monthly video early. Super early and vote on the actual topic. Yep, 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 yep. And give us feedback and stuff mm. like that. We gotta uh, actually get working on that one. Yep, yep, yep. Next month. Oh, it's, it's on the calendar. I I, I got I got it. You got it. I got it. Well, we gotta find time to do the thing before. Yeah, we, we gotta do the thing with the do thing. The video. With the thing. Wink. Oh. Wink. Oh, we're so cryptic. <laughs> we're so cryptic. Yeah. Uh, additional to that. If you pledge to our Patreon, at a particular tier, you can get a shout-out like the following people! Amelia! Angela! Arizos! Lear! Luna! And Victoria! Yay! I did, I did the V sign. You, v, you can see V. 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 Victoria! Sailor V! We were hanging out with some friends, and mm-hmm. I got, and we had exactly five friends, and I got us to do the stupid anime thing, <laughs> where we do the B, the V thing with our fingers, and then we stretch our hands, and we make a star. Mm-hmm. That was gay. I tried to make them do the love life thing, and they were like, fuck this anime shit, and I'm what, like, What's the love life thing? The step zero into one. No, no, that's Because you, uh, you make a circle with all your fingers, no, all dumb. your hands. That's dumb. And then you turn it into one. Step zero. That doesn't make a one. It makes like a it's a well, nine no, pointed star. No, you turn it over. Okay, listen, listen. <laughs> I'm not saying it's dumb. I'm just saying it's a little funky. Okay. I'm gonna kick your I, ass. I don't know how it becomes. Cause doesn't it become nine ones? Yeah, all nine of them together. Then it's step zero to nine. No. No. <laughs> Hey there, everybody. No. We're done good deal. Wow, we got out of here without Love this Live video being... Love Live was nominated for anything on Crunchyroll's stupid anime awards. I mean, Fuck I, that. I mean, I get a feeling that it's all just... Bullshit? Like, it's all bullshit. You know, awards what? are all bullshit. I I'm, have I'm, no I'm, idea. I mean, Boruto wasn't on any of those, so... But, but I mean, I, at least I'm glad that, like, you know, like, you know, Boku is gonna get some votes. Boku from, you know, Boku no Hero Academia. <laughs> Attack on Titan is on there twice. Listen. We know they don't have style. Yeah. Taste. <laughs> you you have no style or or taste or taste. Fuck off. Uh, also, uh, I, I I like uh, I have this internal just narrative of like the title of an, of the anime should be the name of the main character. So I'm like I can't believe the main guy from Yu Haku Show is not called Yu Yu Haku Show. God damn it! I mean Ranma from Ranma One Half. Slam from Slam Dunk. No, he's definitely called Slam. No, see, although <laughs> Kuroko no Basque. Yeah, yeah. Kuroko's basketball. Yeah, yeah. See, and then you have uh, you know, Fruit from Fruits Basket. Her name's Fruit. Okay, listen. The title of Fruits Basket makes little sense it's outside fine. of that one scene. That is the sense of it. It's I know. like the Marmalade Boy title. Okay, it literally makes no sense except for the one time they explain it. Yeah. Do you feel like she came up with the title first and then was like, yeah, I can I can make this work. See, you're a rice ball. Fair. Rice balls don't belong in fruits baskets. Yes, they do. Tori's great. Shut your mouth. No, I love Tori. She's the best. Laura Bailey for life. For life. For life. <laughs>